Hi friends, this is Mary, and I finally have my craft room tour for you. <laughs> I know it took a while, but things were constantly changing, and don't get me wrong, they still are, but I finally decided that this is just a moment in time, right? So I just decided to go for it. <laughs> And before we get started, I just wanted to say that I have a lot of stuff and I've been doing this for over 20 years. So it's not like I just collected this overnight. I've been doing this for a very long time and that is why I have collected so much stuff. I am an avid estate sale goer, so I have a lot of vintage stuff as well. Um, I also shop a lot <laughs> and I also had a career in um, the craft industry where I got a lot of free product. Um, I worked at Michael's Craft Store as a regulatory compliance manager at one point and social compliance manager. So um, I got a lot of free product. So don't think that um, I bought all of it <laughs> um, or I just collected it overnight. This is a collection of 20 years. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just do a pan through of the whole room first. I'm starting sort of at the door. There's sort of like a walkway here, but here is like my shelves. Here are like my shelves. <laughs> and then we'll walk through here to the main room and then just move around. Hopefully I'm not gonna make you dizzy or anything and hopefully I'm not too shaky, but this is my scrapbook room, as I call it, or my craft room. And then to the right there in that other door, I have a full bathroom, which is nice because I can always do my washing of the paint brushes and stuff in there. And then on the computer is one of my favorite YouTubers, Diane H from Pretty Pink Cottage. So that is the whole craft room. And then we'll go ahead and get started over here by the door, just to start somewhere. And these are my shelves and I have a lot of um, journals up there on top and I bought most of these journals, but I did make some of them myself. I like to make gator mouth journals, <laughs> which a lot of you don't like, but um, I just love them. I love to pack them full. So then I have paper pads there, my distress inks, buttons, paints, more paper pads, and a ton of six by six paper pads, and some of those floral boxes um, full of charms. Then I have more of the 12 by 12 boxes, and these are full of a multiple of different items actually. I have stencils, I have Alice in Wonderland stuff in here, um, just for a different junk journal. I have hankies, I have um, Dollar Tree stickers in one of them. I have floral trim, ribbon, sequins, glitter paper, small card stock, food farm animals paper, seam binding, um, and a ton of other stuff. And then I have all of my paper, well, not all of my paper. I have some miscellaneous paper up here that I really don't use very much, so I keep it just right there. Then I have a lot of glues and stuff on this shelf and just some other like stuff that I like to look at on these shelves up here. If you come down here, I have my sewing machine, which I just love. It's a Brother Project Runway, and it's one of my newest things that I've gotten here. And here's some of my mini albums that I've made. And I love those. And I have a bunch of these Ikea, um, gosh, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're like little drawers. And I keep a lot of my papers and stuff in there. And so here's my Altenu drawer, or one of them. And here is a pink fresh drawer, full of pink fresh stuff. my Nouveau pastes. And a ton of other like different pastes and um, just mixed media stuff that you would use in a mixed media page. And 
Here are a lot of my inks. Gina K, all to new are some of my favorites. And then my distress inks and the alcohol inks. And then over here I have these shelves filled with all of my sprays, which I love using. And some of these pink fresh um, inks are some of my favorites. I love using those, they're so much fun. They're called liquid watercolors. And then in these drawers here, I have sequins in the top. I have more sequins right here. And here's my glitter drawer. And these drawers do go back a little bit further, but if you've ever worked with the Ikea drawers, you know that that's just one of the things about them is that you can't reach all the way back. Here's my Jane Davenport drawer and I just threw a couple extra markers in there. I have some Amy Tan stuff in there too. And then I have the Alta New Artist markers in this one with some paint brushes. And then here's my embossing drawer. I have lots of embossing powders and I have a few other miscellaneous things in this drawer as well. Some Nouveau stuff, my embossing buddy, um, little stapler, and my favorite Liquitex Basics acrylic white that I use to splatter on almost all of my pages. And if we go up over here, I have my Copic markers that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance, which I'm so excited about. And then in this drawer here, I have um, my Pink Paisley Horizon collection. And this is Whimsical by Paige Evans. So I keep some of my collections in the drawers and as you'll see, we'll move on to another section where I keep them in those 12 by 12 um, like pouches from Hobby Lobby. This is my Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan section. And I have more Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan. That's just what I sort of started off with. And so they ended up in these drawers and that's sort of where I know to locate them so I don't wanna move them. <laughs> And this is Pick Me Up and um, Turn the Page by Paige Evans. And here's some more mixed media. And I just got a lot of the wax seals and stuff like that from Hobby Lobby. So I put those in here. And then here is a lot of Maggie Holmes stuff and a lot of stuff that I got from Tuesday morning back in the day. This is just like overflow stuff that didn't fit in my pouches. Then in the last um, section of drawers over here, well, I have my die cutting machine and some crocheted items that I love. And then up here I have my Lindy stuff. And then I have my shimmers, my inklings, and all of those other good mixed media things that I just can't get enough of. But here in the drawers, I've got a lot of um, cat stuff in this one, like cat stickers and that type of thing. But this is a lot of like, uh, I would say miscellaneous stickers. And so I would go to look in this drawer for miscellaneous stickers, like crafty stickers and that type of thing. This is alphabet stickers in certain colors, rainbow, black, and pink. This is a few other collections that I just love. Snow and Cocoa, of course. I have more of that in another section. Um, 
and I have some carousel in here and some other collections that I just, you know, some are my favorites. And then in this drawer, this is my junk journaling sticker drawer. So a lot of these things would go in a junk journal. Sorry, I'm switching hands here. And here are some more alphabet stickers. And then this last one is where I keep my completed pages. So I have lots of them down there. My scrapbooking pages. This is going to be a long video, so hopefully you've sat down. <laughs> Um, I won't go through every drawer on my desk because there are a ton of them, but as you can see, I've got little drawers and big drawers. I've got stickles and markers and I have um, tons of this like Jane Davenport uh, makeup stuff and vintage items. Here's a lot of my six by six paper pads, a ton of carousel ones because like I'm obsessed with carousel, basically. Um, I got lots of hole punches. I have some Christmas stuff that I keep out all year long because I just love it. And up here I keep some stuff on the shelves just for decoration. And then here's my cute kitty chair with fur. Well, faux fur, obviously. And then here's where I keep some of my wooden stamps down in the baskets. I keep my scraps in that drawer and then my bags like for shipping and for packaging and stuff like that in the bottom drawer. Um, I have my little vintage angels right there and a book that I really love, a couple books that I really love right there. Down here under my desk, well here's my desktop actually, this is where I um, create and where I film, right up here. And then this is just a, just an area where I display a lot of my fun things, wrapping paper and different things. But under my desk here are more like boxes just filled with stuff. So I have lots of bling, lots of Valentine's boxes down here, um, lots of specialty paper, a ton of Halloween stuff. This is where I keep the majority of my Halloween paper and um, ephemera and just Halloween stuff in general. Over here I keep a lot of my spring stuff, um, a lot of my Valentine stuff, and I've got clothespins, tags, um, let's see what else. I've got red, green, red, brown, and purple paper. I've got creative memory stuff down there. I've just got things that I don't even know anymore in these boxes because I don't access them very often because they're under my desk. In this one it says gift bags but I have more stickers in there, just miscellaneous stickers. And in these two, these are my go-to drawers. I have my paper trimmer, my scoreboard and that type of thing in this drawer. And then the top one is pretty messy but I do know what's in here, believe it or not and I know where to find it. <laughs> so this is my right hand man, my go-to drawer. And then over here, I have a ton of stickers hanging on the wall. And I just go over there and peruse and see which ones I would like to use. I have a ton of Guterman thread, which is so much fun to choose when I'm looking for thread because there are so many colors. And then there's thread behind the thread, so it seems it'll never run out, which is nice. And then in here I have lots of like paper pads, like authentic paper pads that I don't have ephemera for, doilies and that type of thing. Right here are more like single sheets of paper, um, not collections of paper, just more, you know, single sheets that you would buy at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Right here I have more wooden stamps. I have lots of vintage seam binding. As 
you can see there. And I've got some more here. And then I've got some vintage um, ornaments that I make wreaths with. This right here is my adhesive drawer, <laughs> which is pretty full. I don't think I need any more of that. The drawer above it is Project Life Cards. Then up here is another fun shelf, just with my vintage stuff on it. You know, just stuff that I love. This um, journal right here with the cat on it is from Diane H. It's one of my most treasured journals. I love it. Then up here I have my golden books and a ton of other vintage items that I just love to look at. That Candyland game doesn't even have the pieces punched out of it yet. Um, over here I have, this is the start of my many collections of paper lines. So the top shelf is all Maggie Holmes and these are mainly her old collections because the newer collections, as you'll see, are on the floor over here because they sort of spilled over and I couldn't keep them contained any longer into these shelves. <laughs> um, sort of out of breath. And then I have on the bottom one, Jen Hadfield. I have Valentine's, Halloween. And then over here, I have Christmas. Um, on both of those shelves, Frank Garcia, Amy Tan, and some Paige Evans on the bottom. And then in these cupboards here, I have the washi that goes with all the collections. And then in this one, I'm not sure what I have. Let's just take that off. Oh, I have all the crepe paper to make the crepe paper rosettes. And then these drawers here, this is all bells. And then I have all the Stampin' Up! ink pads. Well, not all of them, but here's what I have. And there. So there's the start of my collections and here is what they spilled over into. <laughs> so yeah, so I have got a ton of paper line collections. Um, I don't even know what to say. I just don't, I'm running out of room. I don't really have anywhere else to put them. I can't even reach the window here. So I had to get automatic blinds in this room with a remote control because I can't even step over these to get to the window to open and shut it. So. That was the answer. <laughs> I even started to move some collections over here now because I just can't fit any more over here. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna have to slow down on the collection getting. I think that I have quite enough and more than I can ever use in a lifetime. So I think that's where we stand now. Um, over here, I have um, single sheets of paper that are in multiples. So, and I have some collections on top as well that I like. Um, but that's what those are. In here, in these white bins, are Hip Kit Club papers and Click Kits. And then over here, I have um, some of those little Michaels carts filled with vintage patterns and vintage seam binding um, and some other things that I buy from other YouTubers and crafters like rosettes. I have some twine and then my electronics are down at the bottom there. I have lots more seam binding in this one and then I keep my Nouveau drops in the middle there. You can't really see them because they're hidden by the the confetti tubes and at the bottom I have more vintage seam binding. And then at the bottom here, I have lots of my vintage lace in cream and then in colored in the other basket. And then we'll move around here if I can without making you too dizzy. Here's my carousel of doodle pops. 
And this is one of my favorite things. I don't know if I can get a good picture of it though, but it is my vintage desk and I just love it. It's one of my favorite things that I purchased in the last year and I have, you know, a little bit too much on it to make it work as like a working desk, but I'm gonna clear some of it off. So here's what I have on it. Just some like trinkets and some mini albums that I made. I have this ledger, which I just love. I bought this on eBay for a great price. And then I have this, which I got at an estate sale, full of little trinkets. Um, and then inside this table, I have more vintage items. And I like to keep the drawers a little bit open. I think it looks, you know, eclectic that way. Lots of vintage postcards. This is my vintage Valentine drawer. These are vintage rosettes given by um, horse, what do they call them, equestrian, equestrian riders. More vintage seam binding. This is um, my fabric drawer and um, I have some more of the Kathy Holden stuff on this side which I love her stuff. And then on this side, I just have some pre-made ephemera and a journal from Jessica Rapp. And then on the bottom here, I have some older books, lots of Edith Holden, and then some of the magazines that I got at the estate sale and then my Cricut on the far left. So yeah. If we look over here, this is my <laughs> wall of fame, I guess you could say. I have almost a hundred scrapbooks of my sons and growing. Um, this is my main hobby, I scrapbook. So I just love it. I've done it for over 20 years now and I just have a great time with it. I think that it's fun to preserve my family's memories and um, I still am a little bit behind right now, but I'm going to try and catch up. <laughs> I still am about two to three years behind right now after our move. But, you know, it's hard moving across the country, so I give myself some grace with that. Here in this corner is a bunch of, like, I would say vintagey, more like grungy art materials, books, Tim Holtz type of stuff. And again, I couldn't reach the window, so I had to get the automatic blinds. I have more stickers and stuff over here on this side, mostly Valentine's and Halloween. And I have more of the stacked boxes. I keep a lot of my dyes in those pink cherry boxes and a lot of my jewelry right on top of those in the clear boxes. I have rosettes. I have jewelry making stuff. I have modern vintage bows and tags, vintage Christmas, Christmas, and all the red and green boxes are Christmas. So let's move on to over here and we'll go into my closet. So here is some um, just stuff hanging on the wall, some colored doilies and some sequins. A tag that my friend Susan took Tootsie Tucker made me, which I love. Here is a wreath that I made out of those vintage Christmas bulbs. And here is a bookshelf that I have a ton of vintage books on. That I've been collecting for some time now. And here is my closet, which is jam-packed <laughs> from wall to wall in here. So I have extra creative memory um, scrapbooks up there, which I exclusively use because I want them all to match now. And I use them in, um, in twos. So I use two colors, 
two of the same color at once. Up here I have cherry boxes full of threads and my mom's and aunt's old scrapbooks. Um, I also have these two big binders, or what would I call those, sort of like accordion folders full of ephemera, vintage ephemera. Then I have shred, packing material, a bunch of ribbon, and then like little boxes that you can pack stuff in, like cutesy boxes, vintage wrapping paper, all vintage ephemera in those boxes over there. And then I have this um, box of vintage trim on like big large spools, which is nice. I have a huge box of ribbon, which is a pain to get to. And here's all my junk journaling stuff in those two boxes down there. Well, three boxes down there, the gray one and the two white ones. I have all of these like vintage children's records to use the covers in junk journals, which I, I love doing. I have some uh, more papers to put in the shelving, but I just don't have enough room in the shelving to put all these multiple papers. And here's my AC card stock. And then I have, let's see here, I'm trying to think of the best way to show you this. Just sort of pan around here. Got some tools, my Valentine's box, punches in that box, all jewelry in that box. This is a whole other like, there's my cinch down there, but this is a whole other area of like punch boards, Cricut materials, more mixed media materials in that. Um, sort of like caddy over there and then I have let's see what's in this one. Oh, here's all my dies I keep them sort of weirdly I didn't have that many to start with and stamps so I started keeping them in these little drawer or like I don't know boxes from Dollar Tree they're all labeled this one's called my favorites so those are the ones that I use all the time that's why they're on the top but that box is very heavy. And then I've got all of my like flowers, like um, the fabric flowers, the rolled flowers, all that type of thing in this one. And then in this one is more jewelry. So this one's nice. I have some room in here, so that's nice. So that's what I have there. And then I have that box up there, which is full of Mary Mary stuff, which is one of my favorite brands. Um, let's back out of here. And I really think that I did it. I did it in under 30 minutes. <laughs> is that amazing or what? Um, so let's go ahead and pan through one more time just so you can see it all. Here is my craft room. And I hope that you enjoyed it, friends. I know I sure got out of breath <laughs> telling you everything that was in here. And um, I know it's very colorful and there's a lot going on in here, but I think that's how most craft rooms are, right? <laughs> sort of fun and eclectic. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know what your questions are. Um, if you have any questions for me. And um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So until next time, friends, um, love ya. Bye-bye.